trying Chipotle's new El Pastor chicken. Have y'all tried it yet? We have our vinaigrette, our sour cream, our chips and salsa. Who is ready? Yummy delicious. What's up, Yummy Biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all, today we are trying, we are at Chipotle. We're trying their new um, El Pastor chicken. Y'all know I love El Pastor tacos, so hopefully this is good we'll see um we have chips and salsa we have the vinaigrette and sour cream i should have mixed this up already huh um i guess it doesn't matter at this point let's pray amen y'all at first like it looked like we was about to have a tornado now the sun is out like what is going on with houston I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Y'all let me know, have y'all tried this uh, meat yet? Have y'all tried this chicken? If y'all have, let me know how it is to y'all. Um, all right, let's put this in here. Mm. Y'all, this combination is good. If you haven't tried it, y'all need to try it. Sour cream and their vinaigrette. It is delicious. I almost forgot it. Oh no! The top fell on the floor. Oh, and y'all, I'm drinking um watermelon lime aid today. Uh -huh. yes, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I love their drinks because they're not super duper sweet. Because if they were, I wouldn't have got one. I just would have drank some water. Oh no! Y'all, I have to. Oh my god. I gotta get the top so I can mix it. Ugh. Oh, that was almost a freaking disaster. All right. Let me shake, shake, shake to the bottom of the freaking lake. Oh, it's looking good already, baby. so good it smells so good okay are y'all ready let's try it i'm gonna try it without you know the vinaigrette cheers Mm-hmm. Really good flavor. Where's the pineapple? I'm looking for it. Where is it? Oh, it's nice and spicy. Yes! It's spicy. I like that. Mmm. No pineapple, though absolutely no pine i don't know like there is no pineapple there's no sweetness i can't taste it at least so there it is all right y'all so let me go ahead and put this on here now Ooh. so y'all i have pico de gallo lettuce um lots of veggies i have pinto beans brown rice corn and that's it yeah, I need to get out the house today. Me and Marisha was supposed to do a video. Mm-mm. I don't know what it was. I think it was because... It looked like it was about to rain. It was just gloomy in the house. And I just did not want to do a video in there today. It wasn't matching my vibe. They need to keep this meat. They need to keep it. 
This is better than their um this is better than their carne asada. Mmm. They can replace that carne asada for this. So that beef, very low quality. Very low quality beef. Mmm. And they probably don't know that. Because I honestly haven't heard anybody else saying how low quality it is except for Mercial. Mmm. You like my doors. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Update on me working on myself. Well, let me bring this up. So. There we go. There it is. I had it too far down. Um, y'all, it's hard. I have to say, it's hard. Mm. it's hard not saying something when you really want to but you know that the best thing for you to do is to be quiet you know what I'm saying Cause you know if you say something it's gonna it's gonna be something bigger than what it really is. So I've also I've been starting to think before I say stuff. And it's been working out very, very well well. Um instead of uh yelling, I've been like in my calm state. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> it's weird. I'm not even gonna lie. It seems like it's fake, but it's not. <clears throat> I've just been able to control certain things now. You know what I'm saying? Like we have all the control. We have control over our mouths. We can't say somebody made me do this. No. You did that. No, I ain't make you do nothing. You did it. You said it. You didn't have to let that person take you out of your character. You had to do that. <clears throat> you did it on your own. Mm. Yeah. I love the spice. Mmm. Now, I hope it ain't that red sauce that's on here that I'm thinking is the... No, because I tried the um the chicken on its own. It was spicy. Mmm. Yeah, y'all, I just came to um try this chicken with y'all. Y'all, but just when I was thinking I wanted to do another cruise with my kids, um... But in my mind, y'all, it was just going to be me and the girls. I was going to leave Jaden this time. Um, but just when I was thinking I wanted to do that. This summer. Um, I don't know. 
because you guys hear about the one cruise? I don't know what it was called, but a bunch of people got sick with something, y'all. And I was just like, mm -hmm. I don't feel like having to deal with all that. And then all these people just been going overboard. Yeah, I swear, I don't understand it. I don't. Even if you've been drinking, I don't understand how somebody can go overboard. I know it happens, but in my mind, it's just like, how? You know? Um, that right there, just people going overboard like that, just... And, and I don't know if somebody might have pushed them. Oh, oh excuse me, because it seems like every time... It's always blamed on somebody being drunk and then they just fell overboard. Like, is that what's really going on? Or is somebody pushing these people overboard? What y'all think? Because, like, I, it's hard for me to believe unless somebody was, you know what, they wanted to do it, you know. But it's hard for me to believe. Look, people are that drunk. To where they're falling overboard, y'all. Mm -mm. mm. I'm concerned about that. Like, I would need my kids around me the entire time so I can make sure ain't nothing like that going on. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to go on a cruise with all of these fears and stuff. You know, I'm trying to have fun. Um. So. <clears throat> And y'all, yeah, this brown rice don't taste hardly no different than the white rice. It's just as good as the white rice. So you can't even t tell the taste difference. I think this one started getting brown rice. Mm. I wish they would bring back the, um, the cauliflower rice. Great option. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. Have y'all are y'all going on any cruises this um summer? So what had me interested is I heard that they have a Disney cruise going out of Galveston now. It used to be to where we only had like kind of like sucky cruises, like sucky um uh ships, you know, going out of uh out of Galveston like if you wanted to be on a really really nice one you would have to have went to Florida to catch one of theirs they have the best ones out there mm. as far as I know Mmm. This is so good. I can see why people eat Chipotle all the time. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all. I just want to let y'all know. I don't know if, you know. Anyway, I'm just going to say it. Okay, y'all know Ja, my girl Ja. I watch her on TikTok. I've done some of her recipes. Um, I've, uh, you know, I've I've done some some of her recipes. That's really about it. Um, and y'all, people are literally saying that I'm trying to be her. I'm trying to, like, I do not like. You literally cannot be influenced by anybody without somebody saying you're trying to be like them. Like, I'm. I'm not. <laughs> I just like some of the stuff that she eats and the way that she eats it and some of her recipes, you know, I might try it. But y'all, that does not mean that somebody's trying to be like somebody just because they're influenced by that person and they want to try something that, that that person's doing, you know? Um, that's just, I don't know. That's weird to me how people be like doing that. Like, I literally, it's almost like I can't come and tell you know, social media that I like anybody. 
because they're gonna end up saying it's every time y'all that i'm trying to be like that person and absolutely not i'm like me i've always been me you know um Mm -hmm. I just think it's weird. Do y'all know that there's a cruise out there though that um I don't know what it's called, but you cruise for three years. Three years, y'all. You cruise, I think you go to like seven different continents or something like that. I don't know. But three years, which could y'all be on a boat for three years? Like it costs like ridiculous money. Ridiculous. Like you you gotta be rich in order to do this um this trip. But who would actually be on a cruise ship for three years, y'all? <laughs> uh uh. I couldn't do it. That's too daggone long, y'all. We did a week. What did we do? Didn't we do seven days? We did seven days, y'all. And I was ready to go after four. That seven days was way too long. I think I told y'all that. But when you when you book it, you're, you're like, you want to stay on as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I don't know. When you're on there... You just like, ooh. <laughs> mm. I'm ready to go. Mm. You hate when your eyelashes touch your glasses. So annoying. <clears throat> Yeah, y'all, my face is pretty chill today. I don't have no freaking, um, topics for real. <clears throat> I'm just freestyling, y'all. Just freestyling. You girls really just feel like chilling. Mm. I think that little bit of alcohol that I drank on Mercer's birthday, like, it's just, mm mm. It did something weird. It made me feel weird. Like, <clears throat> that's why I'm glad I don't drink <clears throat> like that anymore. Like, I only drink for, like, special occasions. Um, or when, like, I'm around my family. Those are the special occasions, y'all. Um, like, birthdays and stuff like that. But I don't be doing wine, like, sitting at home doing wine anymore. I don't do that anymore. No no more like and i found it really easy not to do that and i'm glad because like you're not supposed to be doing that all the time i know some people say that it's okay to have a glass of wine i mean it is but yeah not for me not for me And I heard it goes straight to a woman's stomach anyway. Who wants that? You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I've been thinking about getting a nine to five. A regular freaking job um i really have uh <laughs> i know some people probably think that's super duper weird but i don't know sometimes i'd be wanting to like do something else you know I, i'm not gonna get rid of my youtube channel but i sometimes i just be wanting to do something else like in the normal world um <laughs> You know, I don't have to, but I just be wanting to, you know? 
to maybe be around people because when you're not around people like you it's weird when you get around people you know what i mean and i was used before youtube i was used to being around people and it wasn't as awkward for me but doing social media being an influencer you're most of the time, like, if you're a YouTuber, you're in the house filming. Or, you know, or you're not around a bunch of other people. Some people are, but most people are in the house and you kind of develop, like, um, social anxiety from being in all the time. Because, y'all, I used to, wasn't like that, like... I used to, you know what I'm saying? I used to be around people. It used to be fun to me to be around people talking and mingling and stuff, you know? But now, oh my God, that is my freaking worst dag on me fear. Like, it's so weird, y'all. Like, I don't know if anybody can understand where I'm coming from, but. And then when I think about a nine to five, hold on, hold on. Like I was saying, when I think about a nine to five, then I start thinking about all the politics within the job and, you know, <clears throat> how people be trying to get you fired. Y'all, like, that is the worst thing, or just being worried about if you're going to lose your job or not. That, that's stressful right there. That is stressful. I know what y'all know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, mm, that's the only thing that like stops me. <laughs> I wish I could have like an easy going, an easy going job. <clears throat> I already know I wouldn't be making as much money as I make now. But it'll be like an extra income, honestly. As like I said, I wouldn't quit YouTube because that would just be stupid. I'm getting full. Oh my God. Now, let me know in the comments. Can you finish a full Chipotle bowl? I cannot do it. Uh, I am so full. And yeah, I'm gonna start like working out again. I feel like um, I felt better, even though I feel good now. But I felt better when I was working out. You know, I wish I wouldn't have never stopped because whenever you stop, it's so hard to start back up, y'all. It's so hard. So I encourage who whoever is you know on their weight loss journey and um you're working out please do not stop working out don't stop working out keep pushing keep pushing give yourself a couple of days off during the week though you know um yeah i have some in my teeth that's why i've been doing that just in case anybody wants to know um yeah keep pushing y'all push through it mm. Excuse me, because you, your your mind, body, spirit, everything is gonna feel better. You know, if you work out, you gotta you gotta keep your body moving. You know, and I'm giving this advice because I stopped and I see how hard it is to start back up. Cause I you, I would tell myself, oh, I'm never gonna stop. This makes me feel so good. And then all somebody had to do was piss me off. You know what I'm saying? I would let people run my life like that and never don't do that you know remember you're doing it for you you know it, you're doing it so you can feel better so don't let it that's what i would do maybe y'all don't do that but you know you just piss me off that's all you had to do was piss me off and then i just fall into this 
uh, pissed off depression and I wouldn't want to do anything and uh -uh. don't make that choice. That's the choice that you're making. That's, it's not that person's fault or who, whoever pissed you off. It's not their fault. That's your fault. You're hurting your own self. You know what I'm saying? By getting mad at whatever, you know, staying mad and not doing what you normally do to make yourself feel good. Don't let nobody have that much control over you. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to eat one more chip, y'all. I'm done. Do y'all hear that? I literally can't. I literally. It's his truck is shaking my car. Isn't that weird? I ain't got a muffler problem. That's literally this girl <clears throat> that I watch sometimes on TikTok. Y'all probably gonna know who I'm talking about when I do this. But whenever she eats, <clears throat> she do this. Let me show y'all. <laughs> and y'all, tell, tell, say her name in the comments. Let me see if y'all get it right. <laughs> I know y'all know who I'm talking about when I do this. Who's this walking over here? Oh my God, he's walking straight towards my car. Where is he going? Hold on, y'all. <coughs> he's all in my car, too. Like... Okay. Y'all see him? <laughs> okay, let me show y'all, okay? probably weird but she chews so freaking cute i love it but she freaking covers it up yeah she eventually takes her hand down but that initial bite boom you're not gonna see it <clears throat> you're not gonna see it she influenced me to make that spaghetti and um and fish that time y'all i honestly don't know her, know her name i would say her name but i don't know it <laughs> I don't watch all the time. I don't even know if I'm following her or not. But I do like her. <clears throat> Y'all, why was I in Chipotle? And I was watching them like do uh, like DoorDash orders and Uber Eats orders and stuff. When I tell y'all, they don't be putting nothing in them bowls and in them burritos. Oh my God, I was shocked. This dude literally put half a spoon of meat on this um, burrito. A half a spoon. Not a whole spoon. A half a spoon. Then he took the, the veggies and pinched them a little bit. I literally could count how many strips of veggies he put on that burrito, y'all. It was about five strips. I was like, what? He put half a spoon of rice. Like, come on, y'all. I will never order Chipotle through DoorDash or um, any of them, uh-uh. First, first of all, it costs about $30 after all the taxes and the um, fees and all that stuff. It might be more than that. And that's without the drink and uh, all the other stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just a bowl. And y'all, let me tell you something else. Um, last time I was off, I had ordered a sandwich from a uh, firehouse, right? <clears throat> Y'all are never going to believe how much I paid for just the sandwich after all of the fees and stuff. Y'all, I would never do it again. Just know that. $48. Ridiculous, y'all. 
Redid, I'll never do it again. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Next time, I'm just gonna get my behind up and go to Firehouse Subs. Like, it's crazy. Anyway, um, that's it, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all make sure y'all go and try that. It is definitely worth trying. El Pastor Chicken. Just know you're not gonna taste no um, pineapple. Ain't no pineapple. Ain't no pineapple going on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and my family vlog channel at Yummy Bites TV behind the scenes. Peace, y'all.